What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna go over something that I've been seeing a lot in the comments. We're about 35 days away from the start of baseball season. And I know everybody's out there trying to get new jerseys. They're trying to get equipped, ready for the new season. So I'm gonna show you how to order cheap jerseys online. So this question comes up a lot. As a disclaimer, these are knockoff jerseys. They're coming from China, but I wanted to show you guys how to order them online. It's not a sponsored video. They didn't pay me to make this video. This just happens to be the website that I've been using for years to order jerseys. So we're here at the website fancheery.com. I'll leave it down a link in the description so you guys can just click on that or I'll put it here on the screen. Um, but it's fancheery, F-A-N-C-H-E-E-R-Y.com. This is the home screen here. And it's super simple to do. If you guys have ever ordered anything online, that's basically what we're doing. But there's two weird caveats to this website. So let's go ahead, we'll go to MLB. We'll go Padres, because that's my squad, as you guys know. Uh, let's do Xander Bogart, City Connect. Click on that guy, you throw your size in there. Add to cart, just like you would any other online retailer. Shopping cart is empty. That's cool. And then it's going to bring up this screen here, your ordering screen. So you see we have the City Connect jersey, one in our size. It also adds a free gift uh, to match order gear. So usually what they'll do is they'll throw in like a keychain or... Um, depending on your team, if they have like team socks or something like that, if you're ordering shoes, they'll throw in something like that. You can leave that on. I usually get rid of it because I usually get a keychain. <laughs> I don't need keychains. Um, but this is your order screen. So you put in all your info here, just like you would normally. But the thing that people get held up on is the shipping method and the payment. So there's two different shipping methods you can choose from. So your first is your regular shipping at $17.90. What you're looking at is four to six weeks, usually on shipping. The biggest thing with regular shipping, or the biggest thing that takes time in the shipping is you gotta remember the orders are coming from China. They're coming from overseas. So if your order gets stuck in customs or something like that, there's not really anything the company can do about it. So like <laughs> commenting on the video, I can't help you at all. I mean, like I said before, it's not a sponsored video, but I get so many questions on this that I just wanted to try to help you guys out try to get the information through. So if you're stuck or you have some questions, you kind of have some reference. So four to six weeks, regular shipping. If it gets stuck in customs, you know, it could take up to eight weeks. It's just one of those things that it's, it's different for everybody, depending where you are in the country as well. Um, they also have a FedEx, a FedEx fast rate. It's 35 bucks. You can see it's basically twice as much. And this guarantees that your shipment will arrive within three to five business days of it arriving in the country so let's say your order comes in it gets stuck in customs for two and a half weeks three weeks and then finally gets shipped out you'll get the order within 35 days you know last time i did it it arrived actually within three weeks so it's like two and a half weeks or two weeks and like five days or something like that so it was under three weeks um but there's no guarantee because the like i said before the biggest variable in this whole thing is how long it takes for your package to get through customs. Um, I would recommend doing the FedEx fast rate if you want to get it as quick as possible. Um, if you order it within the next couple days, it won't really matter because you'll probably have it by, uh, I would assume you would have it by opening day, but if not, you know, you at least have it in the beginning of the season. So you go ahead and pick one of those. Uh, number two payment method here, as you can see, the only thing it shows when you're on a desktop computer is a Western Union. And I know this freaks a lot of people out. Perfectly understandable. Freaks me out too. So what you would do is if you go ahead and hit confirm order without picking any sort of payment method, it'll confirm the order, it'll put it through. And generally you'll receive an email or a text message from somebody in the company that sends you a PayPal link where you can put a credit card. At this point, I know it still sounds kind of sketchy. <laughs> I get it. Like the first time I did this, it was super weird. So there's a second alternative that you can do. And what that is, is doing the order directly from your phone. I don't have an answer why this works so well or why it even is the way it is. 
But if you do the order from a mobile phone, you'll be prompted with the option to pay through PayPal. PayPal is a very safe option to pay through. They have buyer protection. So if your package doesn't arrive in time, if it gets lost in the mail, whatever, it's the safest way to do this. And you don't have to give the retail your credit card information directly. So like I said, if you never get the package, gets lost in the mail, PayPal will give you your money back. This company is really nice if you guys have Facebook because they have a Facebook customer service uh, page or a group that you can join where you can talk to them directly. You can give them an order number, they can see where your package is and you can get customer service that way as well. I'll actually put a link to the Facebook group in the description as well. So if you wanna go that route. But like I was saying, if you put the op if you do the order over cell phone, if you do it on your cell phone, it'll actually give you a PayPal option and you just pay, they ship your stuff, bada bing, bada boom, it's all done. <laughs> so that's really all there is to it. Um, those are the two big issues that people seem to have with the website. Like I said, again, it's not a sponsored video. So if you guys have questions, you can leave them down in the comments. Um, if they're generic questions that I can answer, I'll try to help you out. But like I said before, I'm not affiliated with the website. It just happens to be the website I use. And people ask a lot where I get my jerseys because they're actually really good quality jerseys that I get from overseas. And so I wanted to share the info with you guys. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you do so. Hit that little bell so you're notified when new videos come out. You can keep up with the content. And if you guys really like the video, do me a favor, share it on your social media. It really helps get us out there, helps us get new subscribers and helps grow the channel. Just to be honest with you, this is hard work. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's hard to reach people. So until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps and we'll see you then.